Okay, so today's topic is all about crack control code. So previously we have discussed about the uh, sexual analysis requirement for flexure shear and torsion. So however, uh, we need to uh, point out how do we say if the concrete beam is under safe or unsafe condition. So by, by uh, checking first of course, one of these very important uh, criteria to look at is the crack control. Okay, so let's get ready to be neurorized. Okay, so let us try to start with the discussion by reading this code for 24.5. Okay, so what does this code suggest? So, tignan natin muna, although this is already discussed in one of my video lectures, but this is, has a ano, no, important role that leads us to the condition where the crack should be checked. Okay, so under 424.5.1.1, so these two codes, the point, the point 0.5.2 point and the point 0.5.4 point should be checked, no? So that I will discuss later. And for 24.5.1.2, so clearly stated the calculation of stress at transfer of presses at service load and at cracking loads. Ayan, no? It is mentioned here at cracking loads. Elastic theory shall be used with assumption of A, we already understand this, that the strains are vary, vary, is varying linearly because it is under service state. Okay? And on letter B, it is under the condition of at crack sections, concrete, resist, no? tension okay meaning uh, concrete is already uh, at failure point when it comes to its tension that's why there is the installation of pre-stressing bar or maybe uh, as we call it the tendon it may be a wire or a tendon or unbanded unbanded uh, or banded and so on so there are so many types of classification including partial and full pre-stressing Also, it, it was noted also in the, in our uh, last video lecture that there are three classes to analyze, the U, T, and C. No, we have class, okay, U, T, and C. So again, U stands for uncrack, okay, or say uncrack stage, C is for crack, okay, while T is what we call transition. Now, I already stated in my past video lecture that uh, I have the correction on telling that T is transitory. So, there's a difference between transition and transitory. Transition, although in my past video lecture I stated the word transition, then immediately I shifted into the word of transitory that I corrected uh, immediately after the, the presentation of the video that can be found on the bottom of the video lecture. So, because transition means the changing from one phase to another phase, meaning from, from ultimate into crack, I mean, from uncrack into crack, while transitory is for a short time sense. So, meaning there is no definition on having transitory on that part. So, it is a word transition that fits the description. Okay? But based on the extreme fiber stress in, in tension F sub T, kung naalala ninyo, we are analyzing F superscript of T, okay, and F superscript of B. So, F super, subscript of T represents tension, which is usually, in an ordinary case, the uh, usually, you know, tension can be found on the bottom section of the beam, which is concrete under piece stress. So, calculated at service loads, just assuming an uncracked section. It is clearly stated that it should be starting first in an uncracked situation. So, this is the measurement of how do we know if the concrete beam is cracked or uncracked. So, if the, uh, the tension side which is usually found on the bottom is less than or equal to 0.62 square to Fc prime, then it should be uncracked. While if it is more than the expected maximum performance of square to Fc prime, then we can say it is under crack. And if that, is, that falls under the boundary, that means it is under transition. So, it can happen to be crack or uncracked. Now, next code, okay, but before that, uh, there's a commentary here. Pre-stress two-way stuff shall be designed as class U with an FT, F sub T, that is less than equal 0.5 square to FC prime. So, you have to replace the uh, the table by this value. And 424.5.2.2 discusses that 
for class U and T members, stresses at service load shall be permitted uh, to be calculated using the uncrack section. So, di ba usually kasi nga naman, uh, to, 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 to discuss this uh, particular 424.5.2, okay, to be in general, usually kasi, no, uh, we observe that at the top, you know, on the bottom, usually, uh, usually sa final nangyayari ito, no, so usually ito yung nagiging compression, the, the desired condition, and the bottom should be under tension, the desired positioning. Uh, if both are compression, because we have what you call larger and uh, smaller compression, that is good also, of course, uh, for camber effect. Now, what happens here, uh, due to the fact that usually this is the desired state, no, nagkakaroon talaga ng tension, but kailan natin malalaman kung hanggang kailan siya uh, appreciable magkaroon ng, ng tension side. So, this will be the degree of measurement, okay? So, by knowing and understanding that, that we already discussed by the three uh, general principles of pre-stressing, okay, uh, stresses, pre-stress stresses, which is under BCM or basic concept, under uh, C-line method, and under load balancing. Now, to, to extend the idea, usually, uh, the bottom suffers tension and under rupture, okay, where in rupture stress is positive square to Pepsi prime as discussed by the code. So, usually, what happened here, now if you recall it right, no, we, we have the under uh, three states of stress, which is under uh, axial, okay, under uh, pre-stressing, which is, I'll use the arrowhead correctly, so which is uh, positive of course and negative for, for pre-stressing and for bending due to load. So, ito yung mga directional arrows for bending due to load. So, therefore, this is minus plus. Okay? Uh, we take advantage on the... Of course, this is negative for action. We take advantage on the bottom usually because the low uh, tension is uh, most likely found be found on the bottom due to when you apply the load, let's say you have this beam, when there is no load applied. But if you apply the load uh, gradually or... As, as the time applies, then medyo lumilit siya na lumilit yung cable effect niya until such time na talaga mag-perfect horizontal siya. So, shifting from uh, this is tension and compression, shifting into uh, to make compression become tension. So, we are adding tension. So, let's say uh, delta tension, if you were, I were to draw here, delta tension and uh, delta compression. Okay? So, when you apply the load. So, therefore, as you increase the load, then it becomes transi transition on the point of the uh, the beam. Okay, that's why under class T sometimes because of the evidence of that due to the transition phases, due to the additional delta C and the additional delta T as you apply the load and when the load becomes larger. So therefore, as you realize that algebraic phase, this would be the cracking moment that you would understand for us to check and validate if we are experiencing the condition of is it crack or uncrack or under transition. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin whenever we calculate for the crack moment by replacing the moment under bending as the cracking moment, kaya M sub CR, okay? Those are the things that we need to understand if we want to calculate the cracking moment. Now, of course, how do we say if the concrete under compression tension of A are, are safe or unsafe? So, there will be two states, initial and final. Now, on 424.5.3.1, stated here, calculated extreme concrete fiber stress in compression immediately after the after pre-stress transfer, but before time dependent. So, may idea ka na. This should be under initial. So, how do we measure if the uh, if there's a factor of CT on our concrete under compression is uh, if you check the end, if we are checking the end of the simply supported members, should be only 0.70 of square to uh, of the FC prime I. So, usually kasi sa FC prime I uh, is sometimes different dun sa ating uh, final compressive strength kasi di nga, due to losses, hindi naman lahat lagi ng losses are decreasing. There's what you call a part of losses that is increasing also. So, isa sa mga portion na yan na uh, pag diniscuss ko in my video lecture is you will notice that compressive strength increases over time. So, therefore, just there can be possibilities. But if that is not condition to, to be computed without any given factors, then we can say for, the, for an assumption, for the meantime, 
that f prime of c is equal to f prime of ci as we prog as we calculate no but after the discussion of the lump sum then that would be the start of analyzing that they would not become equal but for the meantime ito muna accept natin okay so therefore for all other locations then it should be 0.6 sub squared of fc prime i so it is clearly stated so pag ginana pa yung gitna or any other portion or pag nagkaroon ka na tinatawag nating uh, simply supported i mean uh, continuous beam action okay and on 424.5.3.2, ito naman nag discuss as sinabi ito, okay, but before the time-dependent pieces loss, ano pala kaiba nung una at saka nung pangalawang code? Notice that this is for under compression, while this one is under tension, okay? So, yun pinagkaiba nung dalawa. So, therefore, again, at sinabi dito, before, so under initial pa rin ito, okay? Under initial. These are the tables to be appreciated. Okay? So, by that, the table suggests uh, for us to use 0.5 of square root of Fc prime and uh, 0.35 square root of Fc prime for any end of the simply supported and all other locations respectively. Okay, but you have to read for 24.5.3.2.1 the table as suggested above shall be permitted only uh, to be exceeded, I mean, to be exceeded where additional bonded reinforcement in the tension zone resists the total Tensile force in the concrete calculated with the assumption of an uncracked section. So, ibabalik mo siya sa, oh, of course, an uncracked state. Kasi otherwise, no one, no concrete will hold for the additional band condition. So, therefore, it is very important to preserve the concrete under tension. So, without cracks as much as possible, meaning you're checking it under uncracked condition. Otherwise, kakawala yung reinforcement natin. That's the best explanation that I can provide. So, of course, let us try to analyze naman, what if nagkaroon ka ng uh, after state condition, na ito natin final state, kasi under class U and class C members, clearly stated, you calculated extreme concrete fiber stress in compression at service load, of course, after allowance of all pieces loss, so ito naman yung papasok yung final state. Usually, ito yung usual na tinitingnan natin. The need for checking the initial state is yung, yung preparation niya before it it is being transferred and before it it is being applied by the at the loads no so therefore meron tayong code na dalawa 0.45 of fc prime i and 0.6 of fc prime i for pre stress plus sustained loads and pre stress plus total load as uh, respectively discuss here pero ano pa muna ibig sabihin na sustained loads at sa question and what is total load again another question now in aci there is a good explanation out of this that our NECP 2015 does not tell us for, for the meantime. So I'm looking forward on the next NECP uh, version that we are going to have, I think, in as they call it the Vision 2020. It would be clear that uh, how do we qualify the, code, uh, the load as sustained or the load as uh, total. But ACI has already an explanation out of this. Let's take a closer look on this. So, it is the same code, but it is more expounded. Now, in the extreme fiber stress in compression due to the pieces plus sustained load, where sustained load is the definition of dead and live load that are a large part of total service load. Meaning, in terms of sustained load, there should be a condition where the load are to be found uh, in the long time. Parang in the long term, I mean. Meaning, there should be an inherent property Kaya usually, without without reading that, uh, it can be assumed that the sustained load are automatically the dead load applied, okay? But sometimes the live load can be considered as sustained, since as we as we apply some uh, before construction installation, a live load can be considered already. So those part of the condition where let's say a one fourth or twenty five percent of the live load can be already induced within the beam, then it can be considered as a sustained load. So, and of course, in the uh, term of total load, very completely in detail, if the load, live load is transient. Now, usually naman kasi, nagbabago-bago ang live load upon use of this of the structure. Kaya usually, the total load is described as the dead load plus the live load by default. Okay? But again, a live load can be considered as a sustained load 
whenever you, it is mentioned that that li particular live load is already integrally part of the condition where you have to understand that there's, there's what you call two types of, uh, let's say, in deflection. Kasi doon na naman tayo mapupunta, no? There's what you call short term, okay, and long term, okay? Pag sinabi niyo short term uh, condition, so it can, it can be immediately instantaneously found or meaning nawawala doon, transient. While the long term discusses once it is being placed there, it is already for a longer time. Parang it is hard to remove. Kaya usually ang long term, yat is the beam weight and the short term is the applied live load. Okay? Kaya in the deflection discussion, I will often use the term short term and long term because there's so uh, other ways to compute a short-term deflection and a long-term deflection. Hindi lang po ito deflection. It is all about short and long-term deflection that I will discuss in one of my video lectures. Okay, so thanks for viewing. I hope you learned something new today and this will clarify uh, how do we control the crack under piece test concrete beam and as our tradition goes, You have been neuralized and I hope to see you in our next video lecture.